testing cell phones, we like to see values of 1 to 5 microwatts per square centimeter. This is a Motorola phone. The Motorola phone only goes up to about 6 microwatts per cubic centimeter. So this is not a bad choice in a phone, really, as far as this location and this phone. Now here we look at a, an example that's not quite so good. Actually, in measuring this thing, three, four, eight hundred, nine hundred and forty microwatts per square centimeter, much higher than the other phone. If I was the owner of this phone, I'd be considering other choices that would give me less exposure to these radio frequency fields. You can see data packets that it's transmitting there. Here we're looking at a Virgin Mobile phone. So what's this phone going to show? 20, 30, 40, 50 some? Around 55 microwatts per square centimeter. Here we have a cordless phone, Panasonic. Showing us 6, 7, 9, Eight. Closer you get to that antenna, though, up to about 30 is the reading we're looking at. 